Hello and welcome. It's Wednesday the 17th of January and I have a two card tarot reading for you. I'm using my Muse Tarot today by Chris Ann. So let's see which funky lady comes out for us today or two in fact. Who we got? Right two came out together in my hand then and they're twos. So we've got two twos. Right we've got the two of inspiration and we've got the two of emotions. How exciting. Okay, so looking at these two cards, we've got a lady here, little spot behind her. She's looking out. She's looking out, but she's got telescopes. So she actually, whatever's catching her eye, she can really tune in and get a closer look at what it is. So she hasn't got a wonder. She's got the tools there to be get a very detailed analysis of what's going on. And when I was thinking about that, I, I kind of thought, well, what's the link then with the two, two of emotions? And these two, uh, one lady's upside down. We're assuming that they're in water, but they're staring into each other's eyes. And I feel like that's, you know, maybe they're getting a different perspective about each other or they are seeing eye to eye. But I feel there's a real element of seeing here. OK, now this is a collective message. So I feel like that's that can be in many different ways. You might suddenly see somebody in your life on a different level or you may suddenly be able to see eye to eye with someone. I feel like this is a meeting of hearts as well. So the two of emotions potentially could be starting to trust somebody, opening up to somebody or allowing somebody into our life, which is a scary thing in itself, isn't it? We don't always do that. And this lady, well, I feel like this is about the visions and the finding out the details. We talked the last couple of days about getting ready for something new, um, but not actually acting. Again, I don't feel like this is actions and moving forwards. I feel like this is getting all our thoughts and plans in order, but also our emotions and our creativity. And I like the fact that they're both twos because that signifies the start of a journey. And it also signifies a very balanced approach of, of seeing both sides to everything. I really feel like this is going to bring a lot of clarity to you. Obviously, we spoke the last couple of days about looking after yourself. And sometimes if you've had a period where you've just rested and, and looked after yourself and nurtured yourself a bit, things do suddenly fall into place. So I do feel like there's an element of things falling into place here as well. Perhaps you'll get an invitation to somewhere and it's just the business opportunity that you need. Or there might be, oh, I don't know, so many things, isn't there? Some chance advertisement that you see and you think, oh, I, that's that's what I want to do or something like that. You know, I feel like this is where we are so opened up and so rested and so nurturing ourselves and looking after ourselves that we're beginning to see what we've been told this last week um, in our messages that the universe is working with us. Maybe that's, you know, the universe coming down to our level or we're maybe moving up to theirs. But it's certainly opening up the world a little bit, maybe even showing you that there is a lot more out there. You know, and this lady looking in the telescope, what's her next move? You know, what's she going to do next? Because it seems to me that she's got kind of clothes or she's got a little hat on there and a jacket and some trainers. She's well equipped to just move off into whatever direction she wants to. And I really do like the fact that these have got quite a refreshing energy. And what I mean by refreshing energy is the fact that there's this kind of renewed sense of trust or well-being or self-worth or self-esteem there's something in these two cards collectively that's the message for all of us that's rooting for us to actually get ourselves on the path and get going now we have got obviously it's not for another week yet but we've got this full moon in leo energy coming and i feel very much like the new moon we had in capricorn i feel like it's gonna start gathering a bit of momentum and i think we're going to start listening to that lion roaring and it's going to get louder and louder as the week goes on 
<laughs> so that's not till the 25th though so we have got a little bit of time but yeah and maybe you'll hear your own inner roar <laughs> over the next few days let's hope so well i hope that message helped i'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you so please do like and subscribe and i look forward to taking some more cards for you tomorrow bye for now